Are you recording? Oh my gosh. What's up guys? So I'm going to be giving a testimony tonight of where I used to be and where the Lord has brought me and we're going to sing some songs out of my hymn book. I got my hymn book right here. So it's going to be an awesome night. First time I've done this in a foreign country. So it's going to be interesting. Hopefully they translate it correctly so people can know. Who are we? What do we do? We're Vaughn and Kyle with Israel Ministries. God bless you and see you there. Are you a cop or what? Tell me who you are. Introduce yourself. My name? Yes, all of you. Um, I am Armando and I like to eat. Mm. What's your biggest role in the church? Uh, I just clean. That's it. You don't translate, you don't do anything? Uh, no, I just clean, man. I just sweep and dump the floor, that's it. You're going to get stuck down here. What? Because you're going to get stuck down in here. Oh. <laughs> hmm. What do you have a camera for? Are you cut? Hola. Hola. So, my name is Vaughn. Mi nombre es Vaughn. And it's such a blessing to be here with everybody. Es una bendición estar con ustedes aquí todos. So I'm going to share a little bit of my testimony today. Voy a compartir algo con de mi testimonio con ustedes. So I didn't start off a Christian. I was raised in a Christian church. They had a lot of uh, Catholic beliefs of good works. Tenían muchas creencias en mi en mi hogar católico de de muchas obras religiosas. And um, do a lot of good service to people. Y hacer un buen servicio, servir a la a la gente. I'll be accepted. Para ser aceptado. But that's not true. It's not on your good works. Pero no es de todo verdad porque no se trata de lo que hacemos, de las buenas obras que hacemos. It's all on Jesus and the death that He died, the y, blood that He shed. Y, y, y no se trata de eso, sino se trata de Jesús, de la vida, la muerte que él murió y la sangre que derramó también. So as a teenager growing up in this church, y como joven pues que, que estaba creciendo en esta iglesia, I never found a place. In this church, nunca encontré un lugar en esta iglesia. No encontré mi lugar en esta iglesia. And I started to walk away from God. Y empecé a caminar lejos de Dios. And because I walked away from God, I suffered through a lot of depression. Y, y mientras yo me alejaba de eso, sufrí de mucha depresión. A lot of problems started to happen in my life. Y bastantes problemas empezaron a ocurrir en mi vida. And I started to hate God. Y empecé a odiar a Dios. And it drove me. To be angry. Y me, me llevaba a estar enojado. A curse and swear. Para decir eh, eh, maldiciones o maldiciencia. And even started to hate my own family. Y aún así empecé a odiar a mi propia familia. But my mom never gave up on me. Pero nunca se rindió mi mamá conmigo. She was always there for me, reminding me of God's love for me. Siempre estaba ahí para recordarme el amor que Dios tenía para mí. And that someday this depression and anger I'm suffering from. Y de la y me recordaba que esta depresión que yo pasaba y sí. I can help somebody else that's going through the same thing. Que mientras salía de esto iba yo a ayudar a alguien más. I didn't believe my mom and pushed her away. Y yo no le creía a mi mamá y la vamos a decir la saqué la la empujé un lado le hice un lado. So going forward, fast forwarding many years. Y después de un tiempo, después de unos años. I uh, had a roommate. Eh, tenía un compañero de cuarto. That 
uh, was demon possessed. Que estaba poseído por un demonio. And she was proud that she was demon possessed. Is she? Mm-hmm. Was she? Yeah. Sí. Oh. Yeah, she estaba proud. ella poseída. Era alguien era una muchacha que estaba poseída. But because I didn't really follow God, I just was like, okay, I'll live with you. Eh, y yo como no conocía, no seguía al Señor, pues yo le dije, está bien, voy a vivir contigo. And the presence in where we were living at. Y la presencia en la que se encontraba donde nosotros vivíamos. Started causing me to look at other ways of finding peace. Y eh, yo intentaba buscar otras maneras que me dieran paz. And it led me to Buddhism. Y me mandó al budaísmo. And I almost became a Buddhist. Budismo. Y casi me convertí en un budista. And over many months I meditated and prayed. Y por muchos meses yo meditaba, meditaba, hacía la meditación y oraba. But I could not find peace. Pero no encontré la paz. And thankfully God took me away from this roommate. Y gracias a Dios Dios me quitó de esta compañera de cuarto. And I was able to afford my own house by myself. Eh, tuve yo, o, o él me ayudó a, a yo poder sustentarme con mi propia casa. But at this point, I gave up being a Buddhist. I was no longer. Pero a este punto yo ya no era budista, ya dejé de ser budista. And I started to have a lot of questions in my heart about faith. Y empecé a tener bastantes preguntas en, en mi corazón acerca de la fe. I came to my mom and I asked her a lot of questions about God y and about the Bible. Vine con mi mamá y le hice un montón de preguntas acerca de, de Dios y de la Biblia. And she gave me her Bible that she used when I was young. Y ella me dio su Biblia cuando yo, que guardó cuando yo era joven. And said, every question that you have, Vaughn, it's in this Bible. Y me dijo, todas las preguntas que tú tengas, aquí vas a tener las respuestas. That no matter how big or how small your question is. Que, que no importa qué tan grande o qué tan pequeña sea tu pregunta. God has an answer in his word. Que Dios tiene su respuesta en la palabra. So read it and study it. Entonces uh, lea y estudie. And that's what I did. I y eso es lo que hice. In Genesis. Empecé en Genesis. And it took me a very long time to get through. Y me tomó un largo tiempo para ir. The Old Testament. Para irme hasta el, uh, en el Antiguo Testamento me tomó mucho tiempo. But when I got to the New Testament, Pero cuando llegué al Nuevo Testamento, and started reading it, it empe- became very real. Eh, empecé a leer el Nuevo Testamento y empezó a ser real. And when I finished the book of Matthew, cuando terminé yo el libro de Mateo de leerlo, I got to verse or I got to chapter 27. Llegué al, vers- al capítulo 27. And there's I want to start at verse 27. Y quiero empezar el, el versículo 27. ¿no? And I want to go through verse 37. Quiero irme del 27 al 37. Mateo 27, 37. I'm going to start 37 to 37. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. And they stripped him and put him on a scarlet robe. And when they have planted a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head, and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed his knee before him, and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit upon him, and they took the reed, and they smote him on the head. And after that, they had mocked him, and they had took the robe off him. And they had put his own raiment on him, and led him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they cried, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they were come unto a place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of a skull, they gave him vinegar to drink and mingled with gall. And when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. And sitting down, they watched him there, and set upon his head his accusation written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. When I read that the soldiers beat him and mocked him, and and finding out that the Jews did likewise, did the same que hicieron lo mismo los judíos. That I asked Jesus, why did you die for your people? Y yo preguntaba a Jesús, ¿por qué moriste por tu gente? When all they did was 